Have I got a story for you? I'm Barbara Lafram. <laughs> You're gonna be on 20 minutes? <laughs> She's still out there. She's relentless! I have a few questions for you, Mr. Snare. I'm doof! It's showtime! This is the Evergreen Forest. Quiet, peaceful, serene. That is until Burt Raccoon wakes up. Life would be simple in the forest except for Cyril Sneer. And his life would be simple except for the raccoons. It's often said the truth is stranger than fiction. But when it comes to Cyril Sneer, it's sometimes hard to tell the difference. Now, Mr. Midas, you've admitted you're a multi-billionaire, yet your employees are treated like slaves. Sock it to him, Barbara! You've got old Milton cornered! <laughs> uh, Pop, you know that charity event I mentioned? Quiet, son! I'm watching 20 minutes! Barbara LaFrom's just about ready to destroy Milton Midas! I love it. But, Pop, you know how important this charity is to everyone. Run along and tell them I gave it the office. Please, Miss LaFrom, give me another chance. You're right. My employees deserve better. That's pathetic. How can a grown tycoon behave like that? What's the world coming to? Oh, well, better him than me. Raises all around. Longer holidays. <laughs> oh, I wish it was that easy to get a raise out of the boss. Maybe it is. And there you have it. I'm Barbara Lafram. Join us next week on 20 Minutes as we bring another exploiter to justice. It's ringing. Hello? Miss Barbara Lafram? Uh, you don't know me, but boy, have I got a story for you. on the fundraiser for the Evergreen Touring Orchestra. We're down to two choices. A fishing derby or a bake sale. No contest. A fishing derby. Well, if I may offer an alternate suggestion, how about a bachelor auction? Uh, what? It's a simple concept, really. The eligible bachelors of the forest create a dream date. And we auction them off to the highest bidder. Great idea. idea. You know, uh, I'm starting to like that bake sale idea. I think you're in the minority, Bert. Then it's settled. We'll hold a bachelor auction. Then, Cedric, you simply must convince your father to come. After all, he is the most eligible bachelor in the forest. Well, I'll give it a shot, Lady Button Button. Uh, couldn't we compromise? Uh, how about uh, a fish and derby for bachelors? She's late. Let's go. No way. Barbara LaFrom said she'd be here. And we're not going anywhere till we blow the whistle on the bar. Yeah. And by the time she's finished embarrassing him, <laughs> the boss will have to give us a raise. Well, I don't know. The boss isn't all that bad. Well, that's not what you said when he had us slaving in that factory.
Well, perhaps I can be of some help. Hello, boys. I'm Barbara Laframme. Tell me all about this Cyril Sneer. I've been thinking about this bachelor auction. I need to think of a really snazzy date. Uh, something spectacular and exciting. <sighs> I'm just not that kind of guy. Oh, I don't know, Bert. <laughs> Remember that time out on the lake? There it is! The monster! Ah! I suppose I do have my moments, Melissa. But let's face it, not every girl likes riding around on monsters. <laughs> Any luck with your dad, Cedric? Uh, not yet, but I'll keep trying. No sign of Barbara LaFrome. Maybe she thought we were exaggerating about the boss and decided not to come. Yeah. <laughs> Midas, I saw you on 20 Minutes. Bankrupt, eh? <laughs> I'm willing to help you out. Oh, Milton Midas ruined by Barbara LaFrom, but he's even richer than the boss. Not anymore. And if she can do that to Midas, imagine what she'll do to the boss. Huh, we'll be out of a job. Yes, I know it's a family business, and I intend to keep it that way. Of course, you and your family will have to go. Pigs! Yes, Bob. Get the door, pronto. Um, uh... We're a little hung up at the moment, boss. <laughs> I'll get back to you, Milton. Ciao. I don't know what I pay those porkers for. Cyril Sneer. Barbara Lafram, what, what do you want? I want truth, I want justice, and I want fair play. It's just up the road. <laughs> this is it. I'm... I'm... Doomed. I wonder who bid on me. Uh, I hope we have similar interests, like uh, stamp collecting, accounting, uh, maybe even sculpture. Uh, I think I'd skip the sculpture if I were you, Cedric. I happen to think sculpture is very exciting, Bert. Oh yeah, it sure is. I still get the willies thinking about your last major project. I've been meaning to ask you, Cedric, uh, what's it supposed to be anyway? It represents the progress of civilization through time and space. I call it life. So, uh, <laughs> that's life, huh? Well, <laughs> it'll look a lot more like it when it's finished. If I ever get it finished, this darn thing is acting up again. Hmm. I better go and see what's keeping Melissa. Okay, Bert. It's a peanut butter soda. Coming right up, Bert. Good evening, the Blue Spruce Cafe. Cedric, can you take the phone? It's your dad. Uh, but can you tell him I'll call right back? Uh, sorry, Mr. Sneer. He's tied up now, but he'll get right back to you. He does seem a little tense, Cedric. He's still out there. I've got to get to Cedric before that shark of a journalist does. Oh, we'll help you, boss. When I need help from you three dim-witted disasters, I'll order it. Stay here and stay out of trouble. 
I caught you on the late show. I was channel switching, smoking my cigar. You were so bewitching. You looked so familiar. I'm pretty sure I've seen you before. Gee, I'd like to help out on your latest story. But I'm all tied up. I'll have to say I'm sorry. Maybe next season, maybe we can do a lunch or two. You know how oh, I'd love to. You know I really want to. Hey, are you the lady who finished Milton Midas? Gee, I'd like to help, but I've got tons of lighters. And I'm just too busy to do this kind of in-depth interview. You know how I'd love to. You know I really want to. Don't you ever give up. Won't you ever, ever, ever give up on me. Don't you ever give up. Won't you ever, ever, ever give up on me? Ow! <laughs> the boss can't take Barbara in the front for long. She's relentless. Then it's up to us to throw her off the trail. Our jobs are on the line. Hmm, that's strange. I'm not expecting any deliveries. Just put it in the storeroom. This way, guys. I'll figure it out later. Ouch! Huh? Somebody get me out of here! Uh. Pop, you decided to come to the auction after all! Forget it, son. There's a snake out to get me. A snake by the name of Barbara Laflam. Wow, you're gonna be on 20 minutes? Look, son, if Barbara Lafrum turns up, you never saw me. In fact, you never heard of me, Cappy. Uh, whatever you say, Pump. Do you want me to nail the lid on or anything? Good evening, this is Barbara Lafrum, reporting from the home of the notorious tycoon and wheeler dealer, Cyril Sneer. If we can convince Barbara the boss is a good guy, she'll drop the story. Now smile. It's showtime! Here we have three of Mr. Sneer's downtrodden employees. Boys, just how bad is Cyril Sneer? Cyril? Oh, heck, he is the sweetest guy in the world. Oh, yeah. And we never have to ask for a raise. The boss told us to give you a guided missile. Or a tour! Walk this way. The boss makes sure we get our cake and eat it, too. Whoop. Back off, Bruno. A nice bear. We must remind the boss to fix that squeak. Oi! Yes, we work out almost still. Right here in our own personal private health spa. Oh! He even forced this elegant, luxurious suite on us. We tried to stop him. Oh, what a guy. Hmm. Well, I don't know how I could have been so wrong about Mr. Sneer. Good day. <laughs> Just one more thing, boys. I really feel bad about this whole affair. I wish I could apologize to Mr. Sneer. You don't know where I might find him, do you? He's at the Blue Spruce Cafe. The Blue Spruce Cafe, you say? Well, thank you, boys. You've been most helpful. Let's go get the real story from Cyril Sneer himself. Welcome to our very special fundraising event for the Evergreen Touring Orchestra. This evening, we'll be auctioning off the rarest of all commodities, the eligible bachelor. <laughs> Pop, it's me. The coast is clear. Why don't you come up and take part in our auction? Not until that slug Barbara Lafrum crawls back under her rock. Okay, Pop. Uh, there's a sandwich in case you get hungry. Now, without further ado, 
a classically engaging fellow, Mr. Cedric Sneer. Uh, 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 my date uh, will be treated to... Uh... Yeah, I see $50 from Sophia Tutu already. Do I hear $60? $55, $55, $55, $55. Jeez, Cedric's going to be a hard act to follow. Oh, oh that shortcut was a killer, Lloyd. Yeah, but at least we beat Barbara. Yay! Going once. The chance of a lifetime, scuba diving followed by hot chocolate. Going twice, sold to Sophia Tutu. And now, ladies, for your consideration, Schaefer, Bon Vivant, Raconteur, and general all-around nice guy. Tell us about your date. Uh, we're going to start with a gourmet cooking lesson, which will... Do I hear an opening bid, ladies? I don't see the boss anywhere. Huh? Uh, it's Barbara. What's your name? Quick, take cover, guys. I don't think she saw us. If the boss finds out we set him up for that barracuda, he'll throw us to the sharks. <laughs> boss! <laughs> Miserable pig slops. I oughta... You ought to what, Mr. Sneer? <laughs> I am... <laughs> I ought to give these uh, fine young fellows uh, a raise. Yes, that's it. A raise. Oh, glory gosh, no, boss. You'll take it, and you'll like it. I have a few questions for you, Mr. Sneer. Come on, ladies. Let's get those donations up here. It's all for a good cause. And now, <laughs> Bert Raccoon! Thank you. Thank you. Let me tell you a little bit about it. Bert's a very thoughtful guy. He can't swim. He's always there to help his friends through difficult situations. Whenever Bert gets the opportunity to travel, you don't have to ask him twice. He'll leap at the chance. Of course, Bert has his quiet, reflective side, too. for the introduction, Ralph. <coughs> Exquisite is the word for my date. A ten-mile hike to the summit of Freen's Peak with a picnic feast. Peanut butter sandwiches, peanut butter soda, peanut butter fudge brownies, peanut butter and... Yeah, I think we've got the idea, Bert. Uh, what am I bid for this uh, peanut butter extravaganza? How about we start with a dollar? Fifty cents? Absolute nonsense. Uh-huh. And what about the time you spent in jail? J jail? Yes, jail, Mr. Sneer. And do you deny breaking through the security system of the Knox Mansion? Of course I do. I was just... Uh, I was lost. You know how mansions are. <laughs> They all look the same. Weren't you caught red-handed with the gem? Let me think. Um, uh, gem, gem, um, uh, oh, um, uh, gem, gem. Um. <laughs> oh no! Come now, Mr. Sneer. You can't deny everything. I'm innocent, I tell you. Innocent! The pigs put me up to it. It's all their fault. I'm innocent. Innocent, I tell you. It was all a misunderstanding. When I stole the gem, no, I didn't steal it exactly. I, well, I, I let me put it this way. Ciao! A buck fifty. I raised a buck fifty. And it was very nice of you to lend her the money, Bert. A buck fifty. I paid more for my pet lizard. 
We're way below our goal, folks. Is there not another bachelor in the house? Back off, Barbara! I'm warning you! I'm dangerous when cornered! I have one more question, Mr. Snare. <laughs> what? Cyril? <laughs> Cyril! Ladies, our final bachelor up for auction is... Cyril Sneer! Now wait one quick minute, I don't have to... Plus, play along. This is your chance to save yourself and look good for Barbara. All right, raccoon, let's get on with it. <laughs> what a sport. Okay, Cyril, what's your idea of a dream date? An evening in my vault? A dollar. What? We've got to put him out of her price range. I'll throw in a string of pearls. $20, oh. $30, $40, $45, $50. He'll throw in a, a world cruise. A so. Two thousand? Two and a half? Three, four, five, ten, ten thousand dollars? Oh, yes. we did it, Lady Bug Bug. We're over the top. Ten thousand dollars going once, going twice. And so the auction was a smashing success, thanks to Cyril Sneer. And best of all, the dates turned out to be great fun for everyone. Well, almost everyone. I paid $10,001 for this date, and I'm going to get your story, whether you like it or not. You can't stay in there for the rest of the week now, can you? You're right there, Barbara. Cyril, I know you're in there. So long, the flop! Bon voyage! Aloha! <laughs> well, where to, boss? I paid for a world cruise, and I'm going to get it. Start rowing! <laughs>